few days ago, um, few weeks ago, Ari Song's manager came out saying that Kizdan doesn't want anything to do with Ricardo Banks. They tried their best to sort it out and it didn't work out. Um, Kizdan refused vehemently. Because of that, um, they decided another version of the song with Inyanya and Dice Eos, which Kizdan has come out to say that it's a lie they said kiss daniel is arrogant and blah 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 speak kiss daniel was speaking to his pro or his manager i don't know but to his team okay they said it's a lie that our song is the one that's been childish here speaking with gold mine we got bank's manager tammy solomon said that they were in dark <laughs> that they don't even know what is happening that they were as shocked as the public they saw the news as everybody everybody that's how they stumbled on this they saw it on social media that Kiss Daniel has issue with so who's being childish? <laughs> is it is it that um, this guy just wants to look for a way to promote his song, a song, or, or or what? Why would he do something like that? He's the matured guy around here. So this guy said people can say or write whatever they like, but I cannot make comments on what I don't understand. He doesn't even understand or know about. We saw the story online the same way most people saw it. I am not aware of anything. Kiss Daniel team are saying they don't know what's going on. Every song is the problem. Ricardo Banks team are saying they are shocked to see that online. So where did Harrison got the news? Or how did it happen? How did Harrison got to know that these people have issues? <laughs> I don't know. It seems like this story is never going to end. But let us move on to the next news. Now, the next news is about Tonto DK's ex husband. This lady, Rosie Moura, she's an actress. Tonto DK has once accused this lady of sleeping with her, hus her ex husband. Um, this lady came out recently saying that this man is a man crush, or how do they call it? MCM. Anyways, she said, Today, my MCM goes to no other but my boss my friend and my mentor dr kuli like she has like <laughs> she's so confident about this you know, you know that kind of thing that to the dk you don't like me eh? it go pain you away anywhere we day you go they pain you you have impacted skills in me that has changed my career and also the way i see and take life you have been a great leader not just me but to a lot of people around the world and guys there's something i noticed Tonto dk seemed to be the only person who have issues and I don't know why. Tonto DK called him scammer, called him all sorts. But everyone that I've seen online, I don't know. They seem to have like good thing to say about this man. They seem to have good stuff to say about this man. Um, Mayor Kun killed the show in Abuja. I talked about Mayor Kun in my last video, and now I'm talking about Mayor Kun again. And because because this guy is so talented, it started off you know in 2016 for him and up till now we're still talking about mayokun on that record label we don't have like it's not just mayokun we have we have dremo we have yonda we have peruzi we have ido west okay we the west just got signed recently so we're still waiting for the west to do something now take notes peruzi has been in the game for a while peruzi has been in the game what i mean in the game started up as a rapper most people don't know peruzi started up as a rapper now dremo is changing from is becoming a singer automatically you know in our face but peruzi we got to know him as a singer which is still doing you know he's still a singer but he was a rapper that's how it all started for him like he has been in the industry for a decade for almost a decade okay so um that's why sometimes i feel like man these guys still need more work to do i would love to see peruzi up there you know but it has to do with so much hard work I see you for And now we have Tonto DK. She's she's horny, like hell. <laughs> I guess that's why Rosie must have posted <laughs> posted that picture and captured it with whatever she says in the in the post. Tonto DK says here, "What do you do when you are horny?" And she replied herself, "Is <laughs> it's a rhetorical question anyway." 
energy can neither be created nor destroyed but can be transformed from one form to another let's dive in deep and talk about sexual energy transmutation how to transform your sexual energy into powerful creative energy masturbation and everything in between don't do dk i beg you go sit down for one place see okay here we have murik okay murik came out saying yes we are behind the ban files this is nigeria video we are behind the ban okay we sent nbc message and they replied with a ban you know when you don't know a part of a part that is paining you you know you know in, in pigeon english we say you don't know where they pain you this is the best description then that you guys want the video to be taken down or whatever you want you want the song to be you know removed then what you guys said was the girls wearing hijabs which is for me doesn't make sense you know the reason for M for the ban okay by nbc is different from yours what you're asking for is different what you're saying is different from the reason why the song was banned where's the correlation i don't get it or you have something with files let me read this we ask files to withdraw the video or we would sue him instead of showing remorse he dared us we knew he could delay the court case for years because he is a lawyer and he would use every every trick in the books to frustrate us that was why he was boasting therefore instead of going to court we decided to ambush him by sending a petition to the video board this week the nbc banned the video and others like it he should be one to go to court now if he likes if he likes let him go and show how brilliant he is in court he and his fans laughed at us when we complained about his provocative and vulgar video but there is no doubt that he who laughs last laughs best it is hoped that nigerian artists will borrow a leaf from this episode what leaf what leaf oh, please tell me oh. is it coconut leaf or, or papa leaf see the, the fact is still that the reason why foul song was banned wasn't because those girls were putting on hijabs okay and i was i i, I heard that there was a radio station that played the song after the ban and this radio station were sanctioned okay uh, i think they were charged like hundred thousand naira like, like hundred thousand naira okay to pay for disobeying or for going against the law but Murik should chill okay just chill okay it's between files and nbc all right guys let me know what you think about this in the comment section below here we have nine <laughs> we have shingu shingu my friend <laughs> shingu says here 99 percent of the guys i've ever dated couldn't satisfy me sexually so she shared this sex toy you know that she's using to satisfy herself in the absence of a guy please don't even though i talk about shingu please don't tell me to go and try my luck please not me because i don't want to die before my time hmm? if if 99 percent point nine men which is almost 100 percent men cannot satisfy you in ghana it is not me that we will kill you <laughs> okay guys moving on to the next news we have one day core one Deco has the biggest album you know back then in 2009 which is um mushin to mohit uh, he was present at the just um concluded concert one african music fest and he was interviewed he explained um the journey so far and also he talked about his new song so saw me so and also the meaning he said the meaning of the song is say my story it's, um it should be so me so okay say my story so me so and i just shortened it it was supposed to be so me so mm -hmm. so sorrow miss say my story i mean i'm talking about a girl who you know i've been with and you know, she's giving me two sides to the, of the coin. So she's either the head or the nail. I'm just trying to tell her, yo, are you the one for me? Am I the one for you? Can you tell me what's real? Mm -hmm. Hey, real, just talk to me. So, so me, so tell me a story. Tell me a story. Mm -hmm. And what do you say? Do you say she got to ass like a what? Oh, God. Bagel. <laughs> a bagel? Yeah. 
You know the bagel is round? Yes. That's what I'm saying. Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it. Get it. So it don't mean nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, one day cold. Uh, this record's taking off. Is this record becoming a big deal for you? Yes, yes. Is yes. it hitting Iskabai levels? Oh, almost. Now, apart from that, there's something that caught me in the um, in the interview. I it all started for him. Like he said, I first started recording music in 2003. I used to be a dancer. <laughs> I used to dance in different halls and hostels at school. I grew up listening to Osha Boys Two Men. But Wandeko has the best voice I've ever seen, and that's why this kid till today respects Wandeko. And I, I, I still wonder why Wandeko is not you know bigger that is life generally because one is very very talented okay he's very very talented he has the the voice he has everything this guy is still at the top whether you like it or not like he's still getting shows he's still getting attention he, somehow okay but you know i expected more you know because of his talent um yeah moving on to the next news it's turned to, uh, oh god not on to dk again <laughs> no it's to ken makiwa engaged okay she shared this picture um, of um, a, a present or a gift that was given to her by a babe, you know, this faceless babe. All of you that are showing faceless babe, one day we will see this babe that you guys are hiding from us. What a way to celebrate today. My dream color arrived when babe pays attention to every single detail. And look closely at that finger, you would see a ring. Does that mean Toke is engaged? I don't know. The next news about Tosi. Ajibade, most of you know her as Olui Supergirl. She says, men say they can date me because I'm richer. That is, that is, most of the time, women use this as an excuse. I'm sorry, I, I think some women, okay, not most of them, some women use this as an excuse. They capitalize on richer. How, how much do you have? Like, I'm not saying that she is not rich, she doesn't have money, but look at the richest people I, i've sat back one day and, and i've looked at the richest people um or the one of the richest black women in the world i've looked at their lives and these people are married they are still in their marriage happily married with the ring alakija okonjo iweala obi i mean these are people that don't need to tell us they are rich this one they are actually rich and they could maintain their home perfectly i think ladies some ladies should take that out and think and look deeply what is wrong with you which can be your own problem let us start with you now if you don't have problem with you then that man don't deserve you whether you have money or not a man that doesn't deserve you doesn't deserve you it is it is reality okay whether you have money or not your behavior you have a bad behavior eh the man will just be taking everything in because of Maybe you just want to eat the money and run. Now, it's vice versa. You too, you don't deserve every man. Okay, it's vice versa. Don't get it wrong. So, don't capitalize on, oh, because I'm successful than him. And that is why. Here she says, when a lady, when a young lady is successful, it sometimes frightens men. Um, I, have, I have had some experiences. There are several times men have told me that they cannot date me because I'm richer than them. Then, then, then you don't have criteria. Like you need to have criteria sometimes when choosing a man. In one of my experiences with a man, I had to, be, to lower my standards to the point that I always had to drive down from Victoria Island to Isolo and back just to be with him. At a point, I even left my car in his house for his use and was hopping in taxis just to show that I was committed to the relationship. That means you, he doesn't deserve you. Whether you're rich or not, a man that doesn't deserve you doesn't deserve you. The next news is about Ramsey Noah. Ramsey Noah says here, no woman can do shakara for me. I am a good cook. Ah, oh, cool, cool. Not, not me, ah. Me, I'm not a good, I'm not a good cook. <laughs> some men, some men can cook, so I respect them. Um, here, Bobriski threatens fans. 
you know um it still baffles me when people take pictures with this guy and still complain about him i feel you are the one that's wrong here if you could take pictures with Bobuski, um laugh with him and post it on social media you are the one that should be blamed here not Bobuski. if you don't like him you don't like him why use him for publicity i think nigerians we are fond of doing that we use even our country for publicity we we destroy our country we say so much negative stuff about our country for publicity even though it happens it happens in other other countries other countries also, they go through a lot of things you know a healthy shot of bubiski is going all around now it's all over social media a healthy shot of where he had this hair on his chest and you know someone took a picture with him on filtered picture post it online on filtered picture so the the whole thing looks you know crazy he was pissed and he says that he's not going to take pictures with anybody and blah 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 that's none of my business but i just feel like if you don't like somebody don't don't stay close to them you guys are giving him the attention and he's making use of it every time here we have um this lady um nikki lawi nikki lawi said she shot a, a, a video a new video with an iphone so if you're an upcoming artist you could be creative as well if you don't have money to shoot that big video or that you know if nikki lawi could do it you can do it let us watch just a short clip of that actually one of the songs from my second album called mighty god and it was actually uh, produced by my dear friend a dear friend of this house as well shabak in london and um the video is actually very special i just released the video and uh, the unique thing about that video is i directed it myself alongside my friend carl nova and uh we didn't shoot it the normal way everyone would shoot a video why we shot it with uh drum rolls an iPhone. <laughs> yes, we actually shot it with a mobile phone and um, it was actually something crazy that I wanted to do on my own. I've always had this special gift for photography, editing and all of that. Even all my videos, I always work with all my video directors to edit my videos. But this was the first time ever I wanted to try something crazy. I was in London and I called up my friend. I said, um, dude, I need you to come with your phone. You know, and uh, he was like, you're crazy. And I was like, no. What is happening here, guys? All these ladies rushing Teddy A. Like, are they normal? Let's watch this video. Fine boys like us, we will not to look for women like that. Now they, they rush us. Now they, they, they rush us. <laughs> Let me know what you think about that in the comment section. And yeah, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Mexican Crown BTV. Thank you, Tim Crown, and peace. Life you live is not your own. One today and I tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Funky way go market. If you don't come back, fancy way they office. If you still come down, so we go loud loud till we die. We go loud loud no be lie.